Welcome back to New Kamac. Come on in, join us. What's your name? My name's Trouble, and I think you better read the room, <laughs> son. Trouble, what's your drink? I, I got you. Are you stupid? Is that your thing? Or are you already drunk? Are you trying to die? <laughs> I think I understand what you're doing here. It's late at night. We've all been drinking. We're kind of amped up and like, you're looking for a fight, right? Well, fuck yeah. Are you de-escalating me right now? What are you? Yeah, I'm looking for a fight. I'm going to kill you, son. Look, I'm not trying to control or influence you. I just want to help you get perspective on what your the process is that you're going through right here. I would I'm like to headbutt this guy in the face. <laughs> What's your name? He said it was formerly... He said it was Clark uh, Manny. Oh, Clark, Clark of course. Manny. His name uh, was Clark Manny. I had a real. I had a real. Was that I was remember. that Clark? Yes. Like with an yeah, N. Yeah, there's an N in there. Clark. I feel my murderous rage increasing. <laughs> Darby, are you attempting to do the maximum amount of possible damage to this guy, no. or are you like pulling no. your more? Definitely not. Definitely not, because I think the carnage that would happen were were that to be the case would be what's the word I'm looking for? Splattery? Who among you will take a step forward and defend his honor? I will consent to engage in mutual combat with you if that'll help you get out some of these feelings, but it's important that we both consent to the level of violence that we wish to have visited upon us. And I promise to you that I won't commit any violence onto you that you don't explicitly consent to. So I need to hear from you, you know, what you want to get into tonight. Hey. <laughs> I want to Mark went do... Mark. All the violence. Do you consent? I I do consent. May I also at that moment burning for celerity. <laughs> okay, so you're going for a punch, and you have a second action that you can take in the same round because it's celerity. yes, yes. Um, that action is a nuclear wedgie. Is that an atomic wedgie where it goes over the head? I think if you go all the way under the chin. <laughs> so it covers his face. That's right. From his perspective, just his underwear are going to appear <laughs> in front of his face. <laughs> <laughs> and his ass is going to hurt so bad. So that's, that's, that's the experience that I want to recreate. Just <laughs> mystifying butt pain. <laughs> We found, we found a title for this episode already. Mystifying butt pain. Um, and a big smiley face. Dexterity. <laughs> you hit him for another level of bashing damage right in the mouth. And he's in the middle of getting out like, uh, and do you consent for me to... <laughs> and you stuff your hands in his pants and just don't quite get a grip. So Darby trying to recover is just like, I'm going to turn you into my puppet. And it's just like, <laughs> just like trying, trying to turn it into a thread, you know, like playing off that, that, that this is what he was going for. Darby is looking at this guy. I have no idea how to describe <laughs> like, like, I like you, you guys all saw, I have a new puppy that it, it is the way that my puppy looks at like snow. Just like, oh. what the fuck? Like, pretty much all the bloodlust is out of him at this point. He just wants this guy to go night-night so Darby can go night-night. While this has been going on, I've been unionizing the bar staff. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds right. My God. So Augustine tries to slip into the chaos and devilishly pops a penny in his pocket. Yeah, wait, you stole all what those is the penny pennies. Thing? Why? Into Clark's that's not, pocket? That's not plants. Yes. While he is unconscious, I, with a devilish touch, put a penny in his pocket. Oh, this is that ritual that you have. I forget devilish what it touch. does. What does devil's touch yeah. do? What? And it like makes nice. people like, not like him or something? 
Even yeah. the storyteller is like, what are you doing, creep? What? what? <laughs> so he stole a handful of pennies like a goon, and now each of those pennies is an evil curse? And you're rich? Kind of like evil Scrooge McDuck he motherfucker. He didn't his own pennies. <laughs> Clark was actually a character that I played in uh, an episode of An Evening with the Authors. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Hey, Darby, I just want to say, I noticed that tonight you were a little upset about your toxic masculinity, and I want you to borrow this. And I hand him a, a copy of Bell Hooks. Darby's just real confused and just, like, looks down at it. Just like It's a book. It has pages with writing, and you can read them. I also made you this lanyard. Okay. And Darby puts it on, like, the second page of the book. Um, and he, he looks on the first page to see if you've written anything. And... I did. Oh, it oh, says, okay. It says, Dear Darby... I hope you enjoy this lanyard and get rid of your toxic masculinity. Love, Archibald. You fall asleep thinking oh, no. about zombie mama and the strange shell-shocked look on Paddington's tiny face. And bringing oh. any listeners up to speed, mama was oh. the giant black bear that Darby killed and was risen as a zombie and had to kill again. Paddington is her bear cub that was adopted and present for both of its mother's deaths. <laughs> Jesus fuck, what did I just watch? <laughs> there has been no such development, but I assure you, my crack team of vigilante people are on the case. Check back daily for updates about this ongoing invasion. And contact us if you've had a sighting or an encounter with these extraterrestrial fiends. Also, check out Real True News World Report store for the finest nutraceuticals. Your uh, your Jalic Bones impression is fantastic. Yeah, right. I it hurt a little bit. Uh, when you guys accidentally killed both those people, uh, it was outside of Shedtown. Leslie concluded like this might be a river moving outside of his territory. Okay. Is Leslie like dumb and bad at his job? He is well spoken, articulate, and charismatic, which makes it very difficult to tell if he's dumb. I'd like to give a eulogy, uh, and maybe we could all go around and, and just say say our last thoughts about about my, my dear brother Onion Jack. Does that sound okay with you? It sure does. I'm gonna try my best not to just cry the entire time instead of speaking. I'd appreciate that. So, my older brother Jack was the Jack. kindest soul to ever grace this shit planet. I am Jessup Bippy Nips, and I have a hell of a time reckoning with emotions. Jack is literally the brother I never had. Onion Jack was my dearest friend. Perhaps even more than friends on a good night. I've never felt a love or a kinship like I did with Jack with, with anyone else in this world. <laughs> My good man Jack was as tender as he was a profound assault on the old factory sensory array. So Jasper accepts it and he's given you like a look that he's had frozen on his face for your whole eulogy um, that I can best describe it as Tucker Carlson face. Just that sort of like... <laughs> <laughs> like a dog that just heard its own name onion jack was a true king oh, fuck. He's king among men a california king among men 